Today we are going to learn about foundation of individual behavior. The learning objective of this session is to understand some of the key biographical characteristics. In this session, we shall be focusing on only four biographical characteristics that is age, gender, marital status and tenure. So let's start with the first one that is age. Age of a male or a female worker and what impact it has. There is a widespread belief that job performance declines with increasing age. That means as your age increases, your performance in the job declines. Though it has not been proved, regardless of whether it is true or not, a lot of people believe in it and act on it. So they have supposed that this is true statement and they believe on it and they act on it. It is reality that the workforce is aging. No one can, no one can deny that. The older you get, the less likely you are to quit your job. In general, older employees have lower rates of avoidable absence than do younger employees. So older employees, they avoid being absent from their job. However, they have higher rates of unavoidable absence. That is something which they cannot avoid. This may be probably due to their poor health associated with aging and the longer recovery period that older worker needs when injured. Hence, they cannot avoid it and this unavoidable absence in the old age employees is more. Most studies indicate a positive association between age and satisfaction at least up to age of 60. Next biographical characteristic is gender, that is male or female. There are few, if any, important differences between men and women that will affect their job performance. So if in case we talk about the differences between men and women as per the performance in the job is concerned, there is very few differences. There are for instance no consistent male-female difference in problem solving ability, analytical skill, motivation, sociability or learning ability. Hence we cannot find any difference in these skills and abilities in between men and women. There is no evidence indicating that an employee's gender affects job satisfaction. Some studies have found that women have higher turnover rates. Yes, this has been found by some studies but not all because there are some studies which found that there is no difference. However, there are some evidence which consistently indicates that women have higher rate of absenteeism than men do. The reason and the most logical explanation for this is that women are placed with home and family responsibility more than men. They have to take care about the home decor, they have to take care about the home responsibility more than their male counterpart. Next biographical characteristic is vital status. Research consistently indicate that married employees have fewer absence, undergo less turnover and are more satisfied with their job than are their unmarried co-worker. So once you are married, you become more satisfied with the job. You do not want to leave the job, you want to stick to it. The reason being that you want to have a stability in your job. Marriage impose increased responsibility since now you have a responsibility of your partner also. That may make a steady job more valuable and important and hence to remain in the job is important for the person who has been married. But the question of causation is not clear. That means whether you are satisfied employee and that's why you have married or you have married and that's why you are satisfied. So it may very well be that satisfied employee are more likely to be married or it can be other way around. 
So still this is a question which can be discussed from. Last biographical characteristic of this session is tenure. Tenure means the time which you spend in a particular job. The research relating tenure to absence is quite straightforward. Studies consistently demonstrate seniority to be negatively related to absenteeism. That means the more senior you become in a particular job, the chances of your getting absent on that particular job decreases. Tenure has consistently been found to be negatively related to turnover and has been suggested as one of the single best predictor of turnover. So if in case you are working in the similar organization for a longer period of time, so the chances that now you will leave the job reduces. And that's why it is the single best predictor of turnover. That means whether you will leave the job or not, just by looking at your tenure, we can, the organization can tell that the chances of your leaving the job reduces if in case your tenure in the job has more, is more than what of others. This is all for today's session. Hope you must have understood the concept. Thank you very much.